Hello, hello, welcome, Ascended Stars, and this is Ali J. Uh, it's my sincere pleasure to have you visit my channel. If you can remember, please like, subscribe, or even share. It would be great, and I appreciate you. Okay, so my contact info is down below, but um, if you just want to go straight to the email, Ascended Stars at Gmail, straightforward. And that's what we're doing right now. We're going to be talking about the collective. And let's see what the energies are. What's this? Let's see what the energies are. Oh, wow. Something told me to look down. Two of Cups. It's mutual feelings, okay? Mutual emotions. We're going to look into it with the Romance deck as well. All right, so I was going to make a mistake here, I think, in... Um, okay, this is in the way here. All right, so let's see what we have, my beautiful collective. What do we have going on for Ascended Stars? Let's move these things here. God, I feel so, like, small. I don't know what it is. Okay. Time to spread the wings. Page of Swords. Okay. So somebody wants to communicate, but they don't know how. Uh, it's very young, immature. Knight of Wands, yeah. Somebody's looking to communicate. Maybe apologize. Ace of Pentacles, maybe give you a little gift in between the legs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Ten of Wands, okay, they're, they're, they're laying down a burden here. So yeah, they just want to give a little something, little like time and energy and like, oh, let me get back to that person that I haven't talked to in weeks, months, perhaps for some of you. Yep. I knew this was going to be stuck. Look at that. Knight of Swords. It's such a weak offer. It's because they're feeling like the burden. They Something's been lifted off their plate. Okay. And now they're like, oh, now I can go. Now I can go to my divine there's two in here i knew it look at that oh my god okay now i can go to my divine feminine now i can go to my divine feminine which is like a minor arcana of the empress I, that's the way i look at the queen of pentacles all right so let's see what's going on here um what's this romance about spirit this romance all about here we did get that two of cups so somebody's very sincere but they're very immature somebody has some growing up to do when it comes to expressing their emotions perhaps and also it looks like an apology to me it does it does it does look they want to they want to be like with hearts and rainbows and butterflies or whatever i don't know but they also this person goes in and out this is why they're represented from the back because you see the back a lot you, my collective, often see the back of them turning around, leaving you out in the cold, and then just kind of spotting you. Hey, hi, you know, how you doing? How's the holidays? Oh, you know, like very, I don't know. I feel like this was very light or some of you guys didn't even have contact during the holidays. So this is kind of like, again, my theme that I have a little too little too late. But um, let's move and see what the Romance Angel deck is calling to say about the situation right now monday situation so many different energies because i mean i've been trying to get this reading right sunday I, I did four readings and i still haven't posted it but i don't even know if i will okay trust this situation is calling for you to have faith wow okay so this has been coming in a lot this is like saying that okay there's helicopters around my house um and i saw them earlier too so somebody's like watching you somebody's like you know, you know that saying helicopter mom? Well, this is like helicopter lover, helicopter ex-lover. So this is, listen. Wow. They want to get so close to you, darling. They want, they, they lost trust. They want to gain that trust and they don't know how. It's like this desperate energy. They don't know how to get come back. 
Okay, and yeah, because that's why they're looking into the future, three of wands. They're not in your space. They're away. Maybe it's been three months. Maybe it's been three weeks. Maybe it's been three days. But something's panicking here. Some, somebody's really trying to make their way. And they're very they're not very good at their words. I don't even think they have a plan. Like they have some kind. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Ha! Huh. Seven of Pentacles is right behind Ace of Pentacles. So this person left. This person could have stole some money. They could be on the run. And they, they could have... Wow. In and out energy. Again, in and out energy. Okay, so they only want to come in to go, to go out. Okay, they don't want to stay. It's not about staying here. This changes a little bit. Um, okay, let's... I want to know about the Knight of Cups. It could be because you have other suitors coming up to you. They're waiting, okay? They're waiting to come for the apology. Uh, King of Pentacles. They've been working. They're working. They're busy working. And they're flirting with other people while they're working, making it fun for themselves. They're also in hangman energy. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to come towards you. They're really perplexed, okay? And th this is about Ace of Pentacles. They, they've been hit with some kind of um reality check or time constraint here so i feel it's like a time constraint that they have to like cram for something they might have to leave leave uh in the middle this is in the middle of the night the full moon okay so they, they're getting to okay what happened to the money there's some secrets that happened to their money maybe their money went missing okay and they don't know how somebody's stolen from them perhaps wow okay this is getting juicy um you would think that this would be Ten of Wands. Uh, maybe they want me to put it upright because for some of them, I wonder what that is. Let's look. Let's look with the Sibyllas, my friends. Let's look with the Sibyllas. Can you guys give me a little more clarity on this? A friend and letter. Okay, they want to devote a little bit more time, energy, effort. They they are they are they are consciously, they're intentionally wanting to come towards divine feminine as a friend and say, hey, how you doing? I've been thinking about you. I thought about you for Thanksgiving. Um, so they might be, they might, they might come as a surprise. They might hit you up in the middle, in the in the middle of the night. For some of you, that's what this is. This is energy like hitting you up. Maybe they'll be drunk. Maybe they'll be intoxicated, lubricated. Uh, lubricated oh my god did i say that <laughs> okay so some of them um have deep emotions that they come up in the okay another okay, another message that some of you your masculine thinks of you your uh partner romantic partner thinks about you at night a lot and they cannot sleep and they have to they feel like they have to go out they want to come to you actually they're so much one they're so disturbed okay this is hitting them hard i think it just hit them hard um and so they're dropping, they're trying to think of how to drop and lessen the burdens. Something happened here. Something happened. Okay, something happened. Some of them, they do have money missing though. And they don't know. Maybe a young woman took it um, and they need to connect with this young woman. And this is all they have to think about. But they, they know, they know, um, what do they know? What's this Ten of Wands reverse? I'm going to leave it reverse, but I think it should be. They're holding on to their money. So they know that they've spent too much money with this young woman, perhaps. And then now they're like holding on. They're like, no, no, no. I can't. I got to hold on to my money. I got to hold on to my Or some of the other stories, I have to hold on to my money so I can give it, so I can be ready for the young woman to give it to her. Um, yeah. And, and, and so this message might be like going for a drive, a trip. And... They're saving money for the young woman? Again, night of... They Okay, so they want to say nice things to this young woman. They want to apologize. They... No, actually, they, some of them want to leave. Again, 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 again. Knight of Pentacles came out. 
Okay, so they think of this young woman. They want to apologize or say sweet words, and they want to invest some time, energy, effort. This is the apprentice. Okay, so they're doing something that they just started doing, and maybe they're not comfortable, but they want they see a future in it. Knight of Swords. Okay, so they're really exploring their options right now. They're really in a, in a masculine place, and they're in their masculine energy, looking for things, um, conquering, exploring, okay, adventuring. A very Sagittarius energy here is for them, okay, that's uh, implementing this and supporting this. Yeah, like I said, I knew the chariot was going to come out. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. They want to come towards you, okay? They got to temper their emotions, but I feel like they do, they're, I don't know, I feel like they're just being very kind of flirty and everything, or just folk, uh, hyper-focused on their business, their money. Um, they're working with others, okay? So they met a new group of people, maybe, and in this new cycle, and they're working with others, and they're making money, They're and, but they're an apprentice at something. They're not quite good at it. They want to tell you, they want to communicate, hey, I tried, I did something new, whatever, or I'm, I'm, I'm involved with this thing or I just want to connect. They want some emotional support. They don't know how to ask for it, okay? Because they're stuck and they also ran from you in the past. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. All right. All right. And and that's where that's why they need they want to have your trust again, but they don't know how to come in with that. They don't know how to come in to ask you for their trust. And honestly, it's a little um let's get the herbal deck it's a little it could be disturbing to you maybe this tower is like to you it'll be very emotionally disturbing or distraught uh it'll get you off your balance okay you got to be careful yeah it'll get you off your balance you're doing your own thing you got to have boundaries you got to have good boundaries okay this person does not have good boundaries they come in they expect to go in and out and you allow it so don't say oh they always come and they leave and it's because you don't have good boundaries it's because you're like not able to really tap into the fact that it's not respectful it's not respectful and it's not thoughtful and uh, it's unacceptable, you know, really to come in and out to somebody's life and be MIA and then just come back in and expect them to drop everything. Conservation. you got to be conservative with them. Okay. you got to conserve your energy, conserve your jing, conserve your sexual prowess. This one came in reversed. Grounding. Some of you are not grounded enough. This person's not grounded. This person's not grounded. They only come in there to ruffle your feathers, okay, and then leave. And they come in to, to get that sexual um, entity all appeased inside of them, all right? Illumination, okay? You're like a bright sun sunlight daisy. You illuminate things, and it's time for you to act on the things that you know. Gosh, these are reversed presence oh my god so you guys are not in contact this is definitely no contact and um you know you guys are missing each other i want to take out kwan yin i want to take out kwan yin kwan yin this is calling for um much of the collective my beautiful feminine collective right now to really love and nurture themselves and to have what compassion on themselves okay it's okay to be isolated kwan yin it's okay to be uh, in a place of internal understanding and caring for oneself. Self-care is super important right now. Okay. Immortal treasures. Within you are precious immortal treasures, gifts of your soul, which include the ability that you have to transmit healing. Honor yourself as a healer. Whether formally or informally, your soul brings a special healing light to humanity. You have divine support in your role as a healer in whatever way, usual or highly unusual, that this is unfolding for you now. Okay, so this is why you're meant to be incubated and really um, harnessing this healing energy that is going to help others. You are like a generator healing yourself and then you heal others. And it's not the generator energy, you're like... Um, 
I don't know. The Mother Earth heals herself. What, what other entity heals himself? You know, heals her himself. But uh, Mother Earth, right? Let me get you the um, feather cards, which I just had over here on top of my selenite. There we go. I want to get these for you guys. These are so adorable. So, wow. Starling. Now is the time to get out into the world and connect in authentic ways. Now, this feather is so beautiful because it has like a little tinge um, like the peacock. It's called the starling. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to, sh you know, get out there or consider how you're going to get out there, how you're going to uh, ex expose, expose yourself, how you're going to present yourself, um, what you're going to wear, how you're going to be, how you're going to smell, how you're going to look okay there's it's being called that your your healing abilities are being called upon to go out there so you need to go out there okay here's another one crane you will soon enter into a beneficial partnership luck and longevity 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 bless this union i can't talk yikes look at that it kind of looks like an ostrich it's a very funny looking bird is that my nail polish on this thing? It is. Oh my God. I'm like, why does he have a blue neck? You guys, this is how I try to do my nails. I do try to do my nails before I get on, okay? Sometimes they look nasty. This will be bad looking by tomorrow because this is, I do it myself. I'm all natural. Okay. I want to see about this love, this love coming in. We're going to use Dr. Emoto. We're 16 minutes, 53, 52, 54 seconds, 55. Okay, let's see peace yes this came into the, another reading and um, right now is a time for you to have self-nurturing and peace so there is peace and there's spirit energy um, ancestors healing the old template healing the old issues healing um, what needs to be healed okay so you have to trust the process let's get another one that was interesting because that did come out in my other reading it's like a day of peace today there thank you lord thank you lord and some truths are coming out so some people are make, making peace with the truth okay and that's hard i think that's a really hard pill for somebody to swallow and this is where i, I desired um kuan yin to come in because you have to have compassion with yourself if you do not have compassion with yourself you're not able to extend it to anybody else again peace of mind wow and again, the helicopters are, I can hear them, okay? And I live in a very nice, fancy neighborhood. Out of, not because I got money, honey, it's because of chance and luck and, and my good looks. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so, you guys, this person is like following you, hawk eye, hawk eye eyeing you, chasing you down, trying to get on your energy. But this is the time for them to heal. Like, if you block this person, which I did suggest you do, um, keep yourself separate because good things are coming and just recognize that if you, if you don't have the boundaries, those good things kind of might slide away. They might not come to you. Okay. Because this person comes with a dark cloud, you know, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It's so cruel. It's so cruel. You're so cruel. Oh, you guys, the song I heard before I started doing the reading, which I absolutely love. I love it. Um, is by the Black Crows. Oh God, you guys, I love this band so much. I saw them in the hall. I think I saw them at the Hollywood Bowl. I was crazy about them. Um, me and my red Cherokee driving in Los Angeles, singing, jealous, jealous again from the time that I let you in. Jealous, jealous again. So this person is feeling the pressure that Divine Feminine is completely healing and moving on. Yeah, this, this moving on energy is very uh, stifling for them. They don't know what to do. And Divine Feminine has peace here. But I, I feel like they're, with the helicopter around, they're really trying to disturb that peace the quest you see how it just fell off and it's blue so they're super emotional they're super emotional 
you see and they have to go on the quest the quest to heal themselves the quest of mother earth okay if they have toxic karmic mothers they have to they they met divine feminine and they know that women that women you know feminine energy is not like that it's nurturing and, and i'm sorry i said women because there's some beautifully nurturing kind men out there and i know you you single dads or um you know whatever you guys entrepreneurs whatever you guys are i know there's some really beautiful kind men out there but um so I, I don't mean to say just women i i they i know you can carry the divine template in either gender so i'm just saying that a lot of my but in my channel what it seems to be the theme is that a lot of them do have karmic moms and they're very sick women um very distorted women and and they just uh are very greedy and see this is their ancestors trying you know they so what i'm saying is that they did meet divine feminine and they did have nurturing and they did have all that and they threw it away they threw it away because they didn't know how to their radar was off they didn't they were help they, they felt insecure you know their self-worth and i feel like with the other readings i've had i'm telling you they're working hard to get back because they've lost they've lost time but they, ha they haven't lost hope. And and so it's like you have to have a different... You have to look at this in a different way, I guess. All right, I'm going to get you the mythical wisdom. <sighs> yeah. Okay, before that, I'm going to share my deck with you guys, which I worked on the weekend um, with. Let me uncross my legs. And let me go ahead and see if I can get a card. I worked on these over the weekend. Being very crafty yes my beautiful divine feminines okay so you guys might be a beauty mogul um so today is your day to shine on number five so it's about shifting change okay you're on fire you're looking really good people are desiring you you got a great idea you can people you're, you're like an influencer okay you're having new success come in look at all this passion and um this is the california fires but if you look at it it looks like a phoenix one looks like a rabbit one looks like um, a phoenix. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is, uh, I made this card up. So I think that there's new energy for divine feminine and it's a very peaceful place. So it's this, it's this uh, pre birth energy right before you give birth. So yeah, that's where we're at. And let me get the wisdom. Oh my gosh, 22 minutes already all right it goes fast when you're having fun all right my beautiful collective seven heavenly virtues keys to goodness it's because you guys are good people okay you're good people you have morals you have integrity you have dignity god bless you keep it up you know you're being rewarded for that when nobody was when you were being treated bad you don't you don't you guys don't have that that revenge thing like you know you guys get a different kind of revenge you know it comes from source you know that's the best revenge you could plot anything you want but the best revenge comes from source and that's a very scorpionic sentence <laughs> that's because that's who i am unicorn invite serendipity so things are happening in divine timing here with some with delight so they just want you to rest get the downloads um there's heavy heavy crystalline energy uh i uh, the veil is thin all right I, I gotta tell you the veil is so damn thin like i i can see fairies at this point but um yeah just protect your energy shield it you have uh hematite which i've told you about and um another good one is amethyst okay and those are really good to carry with you my beautifuls because there's people that are just spewy spewy booing out negativity and you don't want to hoover any of that you're supposed to be unique and alone and in a time of self-containment uh, know that god's got you and that you're going to have self-resilience and self-sufficiency and that's what i definitely pick up for you guys because you're going to go have to go inward and then you're going to be very well centered so people can't get you off your center is what i pick up all right so have a wonderful day wonderful monday um, until we meet again and much love and light till next time. Bye-bye. Please don't forget to share, like, or comment with an emoji. Thank you.